I'm going to turn that on. So this is that chip tune arpeggio with some music behind it as well. Hi guys, Sketty here, welcome back to a new tutorial. This time we're going to look at how to make that sort of chip tune sounding arpeggio all in Ableton Live with operators, some MIDI effects and then some audio effects after it. So let's get to it. So what I've done here is I basically created a few notes and I'm just looping around this section for now just to go through all of the sound design and how I've got to the arpeggio. So these are the three notes. Very simple, nothing much to them. And I'm just going to quickly go through the operator and how I made that. So this operator um, is a sine wave to start with, um, set to minus 12 decibels and the envelope, I've set the attack to 2.33 milliseconds and the decay to 120 milliseconds. So if we just listen to that by itself, I'm going to turn everything off. Just a very simple sine wave, that's all it is with some envelope shaping on the um, amplitude. And the next thing that I did was I, I've kept this, uh, the routing in series, so all of the oscillators are running in, into each other. But I've then added a triangle wave um, and set that to minus 17 decibels and also put the coarse tuning to 2 and left the uh, sine wave coarse tuning to 1. So this is what that sounds like now. So it's that um, triangle wave FMing into the sine wave. And I haven't really touched anything else, uh, nothing on the envelope or uh, anything like that. So the next thing that I added was pitch, was pitch envelope. Turn that up to 100% and set the decay to 9.34 milliseconds. So now what? this is what it sounds like. So that's just to add a little bit of that transient snap at the beginning um, because obviously we've taken um, a little bit away with the uh, envelope shaping in the sine wave. So, And then the last thing was turn the filter on, set it to OSR, um, set the resonance to 29%, just a little bit higher. Um, set the shaper to soft, dro drove the, uh, put the drive all the way up to 12 decibels and the filter drive to 3.38 decibels. This is, so this is what it sounds like now. So nice and chunky now. Um, the next thing that I added um, was a redo tool. Um, and this is just to do the down sampling and bit crushing. Turned it to soft and set the uh, setting to 7.48. So now we're getting into that chip tune territory now. Uh, I then uh, used an EQ8 um, with a high pass filter taking out all of the bottom end below 316 hertz and uh, a little bit of a notch at 516 hertz and also 3.3 kilohertz and then a low pass filter at 9.58 kilohertz and this was mainly just I found some resonant peaks that I just wanted to get rid of and especially I didn't really want anything in the bottom end either. So they're just sort of like soften some of the edges up um, in the frequency co uh, frequency content. The next thing that I added was a saturator and um, really, um, actually, I do need to actually to apply a little bit more of this. So I'm going to put three decibels worth of drive. And that's just with the soft clip turned on and the analog clip and I've kept the dry wet to 100%. Let's see if we can push that a little bit further. Let's try six decibels. Yeah, I'll put it down to four. Cool. Um, and I'm happy with that sound. And then to finish off, um, I would like I've shown tutorials about how to do clean reverb in your mixers, but for this, because I'm in sound design stage, I've decided to put a reverb on the actual channel. Um, and this is just a long reverb at 2.5 um, seconds. Um, I've taken all of the bottom end out um, below 671 hertz, so there's nothing being reverbed in the bottom end. And I've also done a bit of a high cut as well, because I found it sounded a little bit too metallic. Um, I didn't like the sound of that, so this is what it sounds like now. And then just a glue compressor to finish the whole thing off, um, just to, if anything, clips. And I've added 5.67 decibels worth of makeup gain. Now, to add the arpeggio uh, side of stuff, um, I've got some MIDI, MIDI effects right at the beginning. Um, and the first thing that I've got is a chord tool, and that's basically just creating a major seventh chord. And if we just play this, actually, yeah, because I've set this to one, um, let's turn that to six notes. So obviously at the moment it doesn't sound very nice at all, but this is just the chord tool that I need to create those notes. Um, I'm just going to take this back to one because there's only going to be one note playing at once because uh, it's an arpeggio. 
And the next thing that I've added is the skill tool and in Ableton Live you just search for C minor and then change the bass note to F because I'm writing this in the key of F minor. Now, obviously if you're writing a different key, A minor, B flat minor, whatever it is, just change that bass to whichever key it's going to be. So for me it's F minor. Um, so this is what that sounds like. So nothing special because I put that back down to one, but really where all of the um, action happens is in this arpeggiator. And how I've set this is basically I've set the style to down, um, set the rate to 1 16th, which I'm going to change between 1 16, 1 24 and um, 1 over 1 30 second note as well. Um, I've set the distance to 24 semitones and steps to 1 because I found that it wasn't going through all of the note selection when I had it set to 0. So when I set it to 1, it does run up all of the notes. So this is what it sounds like now. Now we're getting into that um, chip tune arpeggio territory. Um, and I'm going to change this to 124 to see obviously different speed. And you can really start to get that um, sound that you hear in a lot of future bass music, dubstep music, um, all this kind of chip tuning music as well. Um, I'm going to keep it at 124. And it's always good to listen to what you've done with some um, music alongside it. And all I've got here is some drums, a bass line, some chords. I'm going to turn that on. So this is that chip tune arpeggio with some music behind it as well. And all I was doing there was changing the speed from 1 16th to 1 24th. So there you go guys, a quick easy way to make a chip tune sounding arpeggio in Ableton Live. Um, if you've liked this tutorial or you've got any questions, drop a comment below and uh, any ideas for future um, tutorials that I can do as well. Um, click the like button, hit the subscribe and also notification bell so you see my videos more in the future. Uh, share this around with your friends. Also I'm on Twitch live streaming most weeknights as well. Um, so if you want to come along and join a great community who share tunes with each other, I give some feedback, make some music myself and do some free giveaways every now and again, get yourself on Twitch and um, the link's in the description. Um, and there will also be a link to the preset that I've created here in the description as well. But anyway guys, I shall see you next time. Bye. <laughs>